This uh, particular patient has had a total hip arthroplasty and the pathology in piriformis syndrome is primarily compression of the sciatic nerve by the piriformis muscle. When you have a hip replacement, they will often disconnect the piriformis muscle and then when they're done putting the new hip in, they will replace the or try and reconstruct that muscle to the femur bone and oftentimes uh, that can cause pressure on the sciatic nerve. The alternative uh, option is to just not worry about the piriformis muscle. It's not really an important muscle. You can do well without it. And so they'll just uh, not worry about reconstructing it and that can, uh, that can cause the muscle to sort of settle down and scar down and wrap, down, wrap around the sciatic nerve itself, which can be a problem too. So not everybody who has this, has a tip replacement gets these problems, but it's certainly something to consider um, after a hip replacement and somebody comes back with sciatica pain.